Oh my god, guys, I'm so totally pissed off. I am having so much trouble just recording videos right now. I keep forgetting to check OBS and see if it's recording my voice. And I just recorded a 20 minute video on FIFA Mobile on this game right now, which I'm playing. Again, I'm just going to recommentate everything. Luckily, I saw it 20 minutes in that I wasn't recording my voice. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, so I can just recommentate everything over, and I have a load to talk about in this episode. Well, it's not an episode of Ultimate Hazard, it's just going to be a random FIFA Mobile video where I'm going to help you guys out with getting coins and stuff like that. I'm going to show you the progress I've made, I'm going to show you just a hell of a load of stuff on this game right now. And as you see on the screen right now guys, we are saying goodbye to a world class striker that I've used quite a lot in this video. Um, no, in the videos in the past, and I've used him so much in games and I am going to be so sad to see him go. And that is Cramrich. There's one reason behind this, and I'm doing this for you guys. Um... I am about to do a pack opening, slightly a little pack opening, because in the last Tuesday, um, I don't know when I'm uploading this video by the way guys, this could be the Friday I'm uploading this, so last Tuesday, um, May the 2nd, I did a pack opening, right, where I opened two of the Golden Week packs, where you get the, you know, the decent 90 odd players, or the 8 tape great players, or whatever they are, um, and I think I opened, nah, I think I opened three of them, um, wait, one, two, three, or did I open four of them, I can't remember. Oh no, I think I opened three of them, I opened the pack from the store, and that's one of the reasons why we've sold the Cramrich, is because I want to open the pack from the store, I've got enough coins right here. And look at this guys, Je Jesus Christ, look at this event, look at these events right here. Triple feature film events. We've just I've just done the action one off camera just before recording this, because I'd actually ended off, I was going to do it in the um, episode which I just recorded, which is quite annoying, so we've just done that right now off camera. Um, that's allowed me to do an action plan, which I've finished right now, and I'm going to be get, um, getting a little hell of a load of ticket stubs off camera if I can, and I'm going to do another pack opening on them, because they were so fun to do. I did do a pack opening on them on Tuesday and got a hell of a load of coins, and I also opened the start pack, which is awesome as hell, um, which I've actually bought, wait, I haven't bought, wait, that's not what I've just bought right now. I'm going to go ahead and buy it right now, just to show you guys I have enough. Um... And I'm going to show you guys how to get a load of coins, right? If you guys have got a hell of a load of coins right now, I suggest buying this pack. It's 150k, but you are guaranteed to get some nice players. I'm going to open it later, and I'm going to save it for the end. Now, I'm going to show you guys some plans right here. Um, that you can actually, you know, take benefit from and get a hell of a load of coins. If you guys need coins, I suggest doing the ticket stubs and doing these packs, because um, of these packs, you can just see... The ticket stubs are worth, you know, various amounts of coins, and you are guaranteed to get a load of them if you keep doing the um, events. And if you do the activities, you can get a uh, fuel refill up, and you can just keep on doing them. In a day, if you do the um, activity as well, you can do a feature film event 20 times. That's 20 packs. You are guaranteed to get a minimum of 20 ticket stubs, which um, uh, uh, the minimum you can probably get is 125 on each, which is 2.5k. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's still quite a lot of coins. But you're not guaranteed to get that. You're guaranteed to get a you know a wide range of tokens like 500 coins, a thousand coins. You might even get looking at 20,000 coins, which I have done a few times. I've even got 100k in one of them, which was insane because I don't see myself with the, um, a huge pack look. But then again, I've packed like ultimate flashbacks and stuff like that. And that's one of the things you need to do as well, guys, is do the um, you know attack mode. And my headset is breaking again. This is the problem I have. One second. the joys so i've just fixed my headset um just doing it real quickly um let me just go ahead and get the audio back the game audio um i apologize for that guys my headset has just been really crappy recently for recording this i don't know why um but it's not gonna let me you know it's not gonna stop me making a video and i'm back right here so a good way to get coins is do the attack mode you don't even have to win the games just as long as you get you know the attack modes done you guaranteed to get coins and you can also get some really sick packs in these um as i've you know shown i've well, I don't think I've shown them on camera, but I've packed a few all the flashbacks in these. Um, packed a few elites as well, which is awesome. And I've sold them on and, you know, bought a lot of players, sold players. Um, I will talk about the pack opening I did last Tuesday in this with the star pack. I actually packed a few players, which are in my team right now. This is the strike force right now. So, in the um, events for the feature films, I packed Gerard Moreno. Um, I'm also going to go to view items real quickly. I packed the left wing back, Kolasinic as well. Um, as you see, we've got right back, uh, right wing back p uh, piss check right here. So we have got a right wing back as well, which I'm going to show you right now because Ricardo Pereira's there. 
We also packed that company, which I did keep, and I didn't sell him on because I wanted to keep him for the defence. I did get rid of Matip, unfortunately, as a Liverpool fan. Mm, it was a big um, decision for me. But I kept the company in there because an 85 rated you know, centre-back is quite crucial for you know defences in this game. Um, and the midfield, look at the right mid right there. Boom, we got the 92 Honda. I say we, I'd rather have these videos like, you know, community based, like we, um, because somebody's actually recommending me a player to get, uh, but unfortunately I cannot afford him right now. I couldn't afford him just before I sold the player, um, I could afford him when I sold the player, but I'd rather buy the pack and, you know, get him. But someone recommended me in the comment section to get 88 David Villa, and his card looks insane. So now if I can afford him, I will put him in there and put him in the slot and, you know, play around with him. Sounds a bit terrible, is that play around with him, but you know. Um, and you know, see how good he plays. So, um, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna teach you guys about how to earn coins. As I say, the ticket stubs are one way, but you see, um, I've got a player up here called Battles. He's not the player I was talking about um, in the you know previous recording of this. I was talking about sniping players. Now, you know, players can go some you know pretty cheap at times. This is a player worth 10k right now. Um, I didn't mean to put that on there. I just want to see what the highest you can get was at 10k because you can get some really nice players just under 10k. As you see, you know, Jovetic, 9.7k, he does look like a nice card. Um, as I say, uh, you might be thinking, oh no, they're just 80 rated, they're not exactly boost players. But if you can just get a full team of elite, it doesn't matter how good they are and how much they cost, as long as you're getting them cheap, you can make a full team of elites. Like, if you look at my team, um, I've worked my way up from the bottom, I used to have a hell of a load of gold players. Because I used to play this way back in the day, like when it got released in other countries. That's why I've got the um, 82 um, Bender, because I got the APK, like a boss, before it came out in the UK. And there was only one way to get that, because they did event an event um, before it was released in the UK. They actually got rid of it when they released it in the UK. So not a lot of people like um, me in England and stuff like that. I think in Europe, I'm not quite sure. Not many people have that card, so to me it's quite rare, so I don't really want to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, that's an untradeable card right there, as you can see. If you can get a load of untradeable cards that are elites, then you don't have to buy players in that position ever again, unless you want to upgrade them. And that's a good way to save coins then. It will, like, influence you to not buy, you know, buy anything. So you can see, look, 94 Striker Hazard, untradeable. The 89 Giroud I got from the Winter Event, untradeable. So I only have to buy one Striker now, which is insane, because I can save up then. Um, this guy, untradeable. He's an 89 left forward. I can use him in an event, though, but... Um, Balotti, 86 rated, untradeable. Um, also, the right, yeah, the right forward Muller was pretty cheap. Um, the Cam Rodriguez, untradeable. The 93 and the the 93 matter, uh, no, the 93 Honda and the 91 matter, sorry, untradeables. Um, also, most of these are tradables, and I've also got them through events. But that's another way you guys can get in, you know, get some decent players. Just go for the events, man. It's so good. Like untradeable, 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 untradeable. All of these. In fact, you know what? I need to do this. I just need to do one thing real quickly. One second. Um, okay, wait. Am I am I gonna mess this up right here? There we go. Now then, I'm gonna put it to capture my mouse right here because I need to, you know, show you guys what I'm actually going on. Because if you didn't know, I'm playing this on Blue Stacks right now. Um, I usually play it on my tablet. Um, I'm just saying that in case nobody's watched any previous episode and you've clicked on this um, video and you do not know, I'm playing on Blue Stacks, which is a app you can get on your computer and you can play, you know, Android games. So. Look, right, this is the mouse, right, look at the mouse, right, untradeable, untradeable, um, strike force, you know, untradeable, 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 them four right there, insane players that I've got through events and stuff like that, untradeable, 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 and untradeable, untradeable, and then the two centre backs I just have to buy, unless I want to upgrade my bender, um, he's untradeable, I don't have to buy an elite player right there, as long as you can make a fully elite team, doesn't matter how many, how good they are, as long as you can buy the players, then you've got a full elite team. It's a good way to save coins if you can just snipe some cheap players. Like, I could have bought that Jagielka for 9.3k because I've got 9.4k. That's an elite player right there. That's not going to be any worse than a goal player, is it, really? So you guys can, you know, take that, you know, take from that what you will. But you guys can also, you know, snipe players real cheaply and, you know, sell them for a lot higher. Um, check the discard pricing and stuff like that. I'm not going to do a huge tutorial on that because a lot of people have ha I've had the have actually made them. Um... So you guys can just go check them out on YouTube themselves. Also, take advantage of the activities right here because you can earn like 200 coins every now and then. Like, look at that. I've just earned 200 coins just opening the uh, free pack from the store. Hey ho. Over time, that's going to, you know, you know, progress and stuff like that. Also, just doing the live events is where you get coins for. Like, this week, no, 120 coins. I know that doesn't seem like quite a lot, but it only takes like two, you know, like three seconds. Maybe, not obviously, that's an exaggeration. But this literally took me like 30 seconds to complete. And you can do it like 10 times. 
And if you do that to you can do it 20 times in total, and that's a lot of ticket stubs as well, which you can sell on. And you're also getting um, about 2k anyway for doing the um, event 10 times. And you can also, you know, finish a plan when you can, and then you can also just, you know, progress from that. You get a free player if you do the plans, and then there you go, you're just making progress right there. So hopefully I'm helping you guys out as much as I can. Also, the, the you know, the coin-up event, that is still pretty good. Um... Prevent your opponent from scoring to earn a coin up token and increases in value when specific conditions in real you know world matches are met. Usually they do pay off, so you really want to do them as much as you can. Also the daily warm up packs. You can get a load of gold players from that. Even if they're not expensive players. I'm gonna show you guys another plan I'm actually uh, working on right here, which a lot of YouTubers do for you know for FIFA Mobile. And it's the the player trading. As you can see, you should really do the bulk one because then I think there's an increased chance of getting better you know better trophies. I've got 64 gold players in right here, um, which you could also sell for like a K each. So right there is 64k worth of players. Um, just, just think of that, 64k, mad. Or if you can sell them for you know like 1.5k, I usually sell them for 15.15. Um, so you're guaranteed to like get 1,400 coins minimum from that. But let's just call that 1.5k for now. So there's 64 of them right there. So let's do 64 times 1.5k, which is basically just 64 plus 32k which is half of it so there's 96 no wait yeah 96k worth of coins right there there's nearly 100k worth of coins worth of plays right there 100k think about that and i've just been saving the players up in the background just playing this game every day and before you know it you can actually you know make a lot of progress from this and also take advantage of this event where is it um, where where, where is it actually gone i swear they had it a minute ago where was it um, oh, sugar, have they got rid of it in sins, man, wait. Um, okay, I swear it was on there a minute ago. Um, I was gonna do it, I think I've just missed it, I'm not quite sure. I might have been seeing things, but there's this tournament right here. I might have just seen the pack in the store and thought there was an event instead. But this is gonna pay off eventually, like, if you guys can just, you know, do this semi-finals ticket, which doesn't take much, just takes an elite trophy, two elites, and then 20 of these tokens. I'm sure you can get 20 of these tokens pretty easily um, if you just do the um, events. But you can also buy the 75k pack, and if you you know follow the things I've done, like you know snipe players and just save up your coins and do the plans and stuff like that, eventually you will be able to afford the packs from the store and actually get these players and get these events done. So if you do this one right, this is the cheapest one. That's a, you know ticket C. You are guaranteed to either get an 86 Casemiro or an 86 um, you know Saul. That's a centre mid. That he's usually a left back. Oh, he's a centre mid in this one. That's a set 86 centre mid or an 86 CDM. Untradeable. And you guarantee that's a just guaranteed 86 rated, rated player right there. You guys need to just grind out the game slightly and, you know, just little progress every now and then. Just mix it able for you to get decent players. I would love to get an 86 rated um, Sal right now. Just, it's an untradeable player. You do not ever need to buy a centre mid ever again then. Because that's just going to be, you know, insane. Until you get another one you know, like a better player in another event, or you can afford one. Um, you guys can just get the untradeable players. It's just so good to do. So, I'm going to show you guys this pack right now, because this is insane. Um, I'm going to show you the plan pack right now, because if you guys do these plans, this is the action play right now. I'm guaranteed to get an 88 rated uh, or higher player from this, and it's insane. Look at this player. If I've got a duplicate, I'm going to be mad, but bang. Oh my god, we just got 92 Okazaki. Oh, see what I mean? That's a guaranteed 92 rate play right there. Jesus Christ, that's untradeable. I've just made my team better by just doing a simple event. <laughs> that's insane. I'm actually so gassed I've got the highest rated one right there. That's mad. That's mad. I'm actually going to go to the plans right now and see if I can actually get um, one of the plans actually done um, for the 96 Okazaki. Because um, I've got... Oh, I haven't got any of them. I've just got the Okazaki. I've got the highest rated one right there, which is insane. So if I get the Van Dyke or the Carol, um, all I need to do is the feature film posters. And that's mad, that's that done. Um, so I've got three days to do it, I don't know if I'm going to do it in time, but still. I've got the Honda, and if I can get the Castro and the Lulich, then I can do that one as well. Um, for this one I've got the Colosinich, um, and I need the Okazako and the Soul. But if I get any of these two players, I'm keeping them, that's just it. Um, and also I need to get, I've got the Gerard Moreno as well, which is insane. But I need the Camacho and the Inua. Um, but the fact that I've got, like, what, um, I've got one from that one, one, um, two... Um, three now, and then fourth one right here. So I've got four of them. I could trade in all four of them and get two, uh, two of the um, what's it called, um, stunt doubles, and I could just trade, you know, put them in the places and then just 
you know, see which other one I pack and then I can get the best one if I just get the 10 feature film posters, which are too difficult to get because I'm guaranteed to get one in this pack anyway, which I'm about to show you guys. But this is the 150k pack right here. So, I don't think you guys are ready for this. I don't think you guys are ready for this pack. The Golden Week pack right here. So let's open every other one from the left hand side. Goal player. Ticket stub. Ticket stub again. That's a thousand coins right there. Another goal player. I'm not even... Oh my god, I'm not even going to get an elite in this, am I? Ticket stub again. Where's the... Um, oh my god, no. Please don't tell me these are... There we go. See what I mean, guys? Sterling right there. Action film. We just did the action one as well, which is kind of sad. But at least we can get a... Um, you know, more progress than on that one. A thousand coins. Look at that. Bang. Morata. Morata, I know he's not the best elite, but that's two elites right there. Van Beek, Tolisso, and then Bang, Ticket Stub, and then another Ticket... Oh, Higuain, but the wrong Higuain. So from that, we've just got a hell of a lot of goal players. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which we can use towards our plan. We've got Sterling and Morata, which is insane, because then we can use these players to actually either get coins, or trade them in for some other stuff, and yeah. So we've got the Colis... Wait, the Colis... The Colisinic right there, that's one. We've got the Okazaki, that's two. Gerard and Renault, that's three. Honda's four. Um, and then, yeah, and then this guy, Ricardo Pereira's five. So we've got five of them. We could trade in four of them to get two of the tokens. They're the stunt double tokens. And can we, we can get, like, the, you know, the higher rated Honda or the higher rated Okazaki. Um, even though we can get the 99 Di Maria Okazaki, um, instead of Okazaki, sorry, we can keep him, you know, we can trade him in. But that's a 93 rated Okazaki right there now. And we could get the upgraded Honda if we really want to. Um, even though we have got the hot, um, the matter there, which was is quite deadly still. Um, so instead we can either get the... whatever. Wait, what's the other ones? Um, okay, wait, what are the other ones? Ma uh, plans. So, uh, this is just this is insane guys. This is how you get like insane cards and insane players. So right now we've got this other token right here, which is insane because that only needs the you know the ticket stubs and then one more you know film action film. This one only needs um, sixteen more tokens, which we can probably do later on. Um, it's so that's sci-fi. Is the sci-fi event on right now? Kung Fu and superhero. Mm. Kung Fu and superhero. Have we got any progress on the Kung Fu or superhero ones? So nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. So we can actually work on them as well, which is quite insane. Um, so yeah. Okazaki, we don't really want that one because we can get the 99 Di Maria, we've got the matter in that one. Um, centre forward, we can get the um, Azaki, Azako because we've got this one already and then we can get the two other ones with the stunt doubles. Um, but it defend, depends who we want to keep anyway. Um, since we've got, oh wait no, we've only got four other ones haven't we. But then we just need the feature film posters which are kind of easy to get. Um, as I can get two today, which is insane. Um, and then also we have... One in the sci-fi, which is three, and then action's four, and I'm sure I can get six more before the end of it, but I can show you guys that in the future. Um, but also, this is what I want to go for as well. If I get all of them six players, which is insane, and six stunt doubles, but that's going to finish in 45 hours. I'm going to see if anybody's packed any of them and show you guys probably in the next video um, of you know the players that you can get in there. I don't know if it's going to be the same player or not, but you never know. Um, also, I can trade in the um, players as well. Oh, no, no, that's the Stuntable. Sorry, I thought he was going to give you another player. Um, I could also trade them in here as well and get the um, Program Master. Um, I've got five of the feature film tokens, you know, the players, but I'd rather either keep them or upgrade them with the other, the other players themselves and get, like, you know, one of the Showstoppers. Um, the Showstopper in you is pretty good, I reckon. Um, it's got the Gerard Morano already, which is going to be quite good. That does give us a nice left mid there instead of um, Bonaventura. Um, he does offer plus one... Um, What's that? Is that SPA? Um, short passing. That is a pretty nice card. This that's Saka. Wait, we've got the um, what's it called anyway? The Hector Bellerin, which is an insane card anyway. So we don't need the Sakaya, but that is an insane looking card. All of these are insane looking. To be fair, the Zako is pretty deadly as well. That's plus one speed to all. Um, what does the Okazaki give us? Because that would be still a nice card to get anyway. Plus one finishing. Wow. Plus one dribbling. That would be quite nice as well. Uh, but you guys can actually comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys want you know, me to do. Which player do you want me to get? Do you want me to get any of them in particular? Um, because this this series is, you know, this account is basically, um, you know, pa you know, fueled by what you want and what you'd recommend. So whatever you want, I would do. Like, in the comment section, I've had someone recommend me get the 88 David Villa, which I am thinking of getting in the future, as, you know, I need a new striker right now. Um... 
and I've shown you guys how to get some coins. You guys can, you know, do this yourself. You guys can, you know, tell me what players you've just got through this, you know, these methods. Especially the golden week. Um, just take, you know, just take what's it called, um, take advantage of the events that um, FIFA Mobile give out. Such as this golden week event, because you can get some insane stuff from it. Especially when there's a fuel up right there as well. And there's a domination. If you guys can get lucky in the domination, even if it's one or, you know, once or twice, it's still little progress and you've still made little coins out there. And also, play the attack mode as much as you can. Because, right, the attack mode is changing right now. This is the final one that they are showing, you know, the, what's it called, um, providing as, as a little season where you can do world class and stuff. And as far as I'm aware, they are changing it out. So if you can get to FIFA Champion or Legendary 1 or 2 right now, I recommend you just trying your hardest to do it. I've got to do this off camera. Um, I've got to make as much progress in this as I can because I've not been playing it enough. 13 days, 2 weeks is, you know, just under 2 weeks left. Um, so what day would that be? It is Thursday right now, isn't it? For me it's Thursday anyway, so yeah, Wednesday in 2 weeks, which is the 20, no, the 18th, sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> the, no, wait, 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 I'm being an idiot right here. Yeah, it's the 27th, sorry, the 27th. So just before, just before, wait, January, March, April, May, Ju June, just before June, um, sorry, is when they're finishing this event, you know, fully, the divisions, they're going to be changing it, I do believe, like, maybe some better matchmaking, some better system, or just keeping it fresh and just changing it every now and then. That's the best thing about FIFA Mobile, they can keep it fresh and they can change everything about it. Excuse me, which is awesome. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the progress on my Ultimate Hazard right now, because that's the series that I'm really wanting to keep on going. I don't know if they're going to ever change this, but this is the progress we've made so far towards the um, 95 rated hazard that's the minimum we want guys uh, well i want in particular you guys can actually set yourself your own targets you can also set me targets if you want you guys can say oh go just go for the 100 rated hazard as quick as possible and i will just grind out and go for it but if you guys want a minimum of me to, you know something me to get like maybe the 96 card because that's the first one that offers the stats that's plus one shot to all as well that'd probably go up to like a 98 rated card then um, with its own stat increase but my minimum what one i want is the 95 rated striker because 95 is just a, you know, a, r a hell of a rounded number, it's like Pele on, you know, FIFA console, it's just like Messi and Ronaldo's like in forms and stuff like that, but you guys can let me know in the comment section, I'm going to end this off right now because I'm just babbling on, so remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it, dislike if you didn't enjoy it, comment anything down below, like cheeseburgers or something, <laughs> I don't mind, um, you know, like game recommendations, video recommendations, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace out.